We begin with the migrant crisis, not just at the southern border, but in courtrooms across the country. The backlog of immigration cases is growing now by the day. Officials say there are more than 3 million cases backlogged right now, and Florida leads the pack with almost 500,000 of those cases. Now, this can be attributed to several factors, including a growing number of asylum applications and appeals, cases from previous years remaining open, and pending deportation proceedings. And while ICE officials where migrants check in are overcrowded and flooded with people, immigration courts are grappling with a shortage of judges working to handle this case load. News Nation's senior national correspondent Brian Nenton breaks down the problems immigration officers are now facing. Hey, Brian. Yeah, it really is a problem, Kelly. You know, you always hear that saying that every state is a border state. And working on this story, uh, you can really see it firsthand. We're outside the ICE offices in Miramar, Florida. This is a suburb to Miami. We're basically in an office park. You would never even know it's here. It's all gated in, so you can't get close. But this is where thousands of migrants have to come. First, they come across the border. Then when they get to Florida, they have to come to this office to check in. Uh, and look at the video. I mean, it's a mess out here. Sometimes the lines are so long. Uh, and the issue is they show up. They're told that they're in the system. They're told to come here and check in. And then they try to register, and, and the guards here say, no, you're not even in the computer system. We have no documentation of you. And it happens over and over again. And when you start talking about the immigration court backlog, uh, it's truly staggering. Uh, it is the worst here in Florida. As you mentioned, right now there are more than 3 million immigration cases waiting to work through the system. In Florida, there are almost half a million uh, and that is more than tripled since 2021. Uh, you mentioned a lot of the reasons. Uh, the main reason, really, you see it all the time, what's happening at the border, just the numbers, the sheer numbers, the court system can't keep up with it. You always hear that it's a broken system, but you come out to a place like this, really in suburbia, mm -hmm. we're not at the border, and you can tell right away that it, it is broken. Yes. I mean, just look at it. And there's so little interest from the, you know, from ICE um, and from from Congress to actually do anything that would fix it, to increase capacity to process these massive backlogs. There's a list that the security has, and um, the list that security has doesn't always match the list of appointments that people are supposed to report for. And so a lot of people show up with an appointment on their paperwork, and then the guards at the gate tell them, no, you're not on our list. So tough luck. So once a migrant finally gets an appointment, uh, Kelly, once they're in the system, they might not have their next court date until 2027 uh, because the system is just so backlogged. There's not enough judges. Judges here in Florida can have as many as 10,000 cases. Uh, again, we're outside the ICE office. We also went over to the immigration courthouse to see what was going on over there. That was even more surprising. Uh, we're going to take you over there coming up uh, on Vargas Reports. That's at 5 o'clock Eastern. Yeah, we will be watching, Brian. This is a huge problem with big ripple effects. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.